Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqeel. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with the leaders of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries on the advent of the new year 2020. His Majesty the King wished the leaders and their people abundant health and happiness and continued development and prosperity for their countries, expressing hope that the new year will be one of peace and prosperity for all world countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes on the advent of the new year 2020 with the leaders, prime ministers and crown princes of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries in which he expressed congratulations and wishes of further development and growth for their countries and abundant health and happiness for their people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes on the advent of the new year 2020 with the leaders and Crown Princes of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries in which he expressed wishes of further progress and prosperity for their countries and abundant health and happiness for their people wishing it to be a year of peace and security for all world countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the owners of the 12 projects that qualified for the final stage of the Government Innovation Competition Fikra. His Royal Highness emphasized that the implementation of innovation-driven development strategies reinforces public service delivery excellence and efficient productivity in line with the aspirations of His Majesty the King. He noted that introducing unique programs which unleash the potential of public sector employees build and expand on Team Bahrain's remarkable achievements. He stressed that the implementation of the innovations will be prioritized and will further optimize public service delivery. and will further optimize public service delivery and increase customer satisfaction levels. His Royal Highness extended his best wishes for the winner's success and thanked all who contributed to the success of the initiative. The winners expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for allowing them the opportunity to develop their breakthrough innovations. Later, the winners presented their innovations to the government ex exec rather executive committee chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The Deputy Prime Minister and Head of the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, emphasized that food security file tops the list of the Ministerial Committee priorities with the aim of implementing the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to develop a strategic project for the national production of food. 
He added that achieving food security requires taking care of the agricultural sector in the kingdom in order to reach an advanced level in developing the areas of self-sufficiency, national capabilities in the field of food industries, raising the percentage of local production and preserving the experience of professionals. Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah visited the Agricultural Incubator Center in Ali, which is supervised by the Agricultural and Marine Resources of the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, in cooperation with the National Initiative for Agricultural Development, chaired by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. The Deputy Premier heard the farmers' proposals that will contribute to develop their work and achieve desired benefits, especially with regard to marketing, such as giving preference to the local vegetable product, providing basic facilities and services, and infrastructure works in a high horizon, and creating appropriate factors for them that enable them to apply the latest agricultural technologies, such as hydroponics, instead of using traditional methods at high cost. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fozia Zainal, expressed good wishes for His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as all citizens and residents on the advent of the new year, and expressed hope that it will add further achievements and further peace, prosperity, and tolerance in the Kingdom. The Council approved a number of recommendations and passed them to the Cabinet. The Council approved a recommendation that asked the Cabinet for clarification on the policy on fishing and marine life preservation. The Council also approved a recommendation on a request to drop legal cases against individuals who are active on social media. The Minister of Interior attended the Joint Coast Guard Training Drill Vigilant Guard 8 along with Public Security Chief Lieutenant General Tariq Al Hassan. A number of directorates of the Ministry took part in the drill in order to maintain their readiness to protect vital facilities and peace and security of Bahrain's territorial waters. The minister listened to a presentation by the Preparation and Control Committee and examined the drill process. The minister praised the readiness of the security forces and the efforts of the ministry's directorates for their cooperation in planning and executing the drills. The minister affirmed the importance of conducting more drills to reinforce the readiness of the security forces and to make full use of the available expertise, especially in light of the recent events that the region has experienced. He also affirmed the importance of securing the safety of international waters regionally and globally. For his part, the Public Security Chief expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister and said that the drill represents a part of the training to enhance the security forces' readiness since launching it in 2012. The head of the Coast Guard also expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister for patronizing the drill and his constant support to elevate the performance level of the security forces.
the minister toured a number of boats that have been acquired recently, which are equipped with the latest marine technology as part of the Coast Guard's ongoing development process.